Hey, what's up everybody? It's Michael again. We're going to have a product unboxing of Star Trek The Next Generation Away Team Resistance is Futile. Uh, we're going to take a look first at the Fast Forces right now before we get into the case. So let's crack this open and see what we get. So the uh, Away Team this time is the Next Gen guys. We have the main crew there. We have Picard, Riker, Data, Worf, uh, Dr. Crusher and Jordy LaForge. So we'll take a look and see what these guys have. Alright, so first we're going to look at Jordy LaForge. This guy looks like he's uh, he plays at 75 and 50, he has the Starfleet uh, team ability. It looks like he's kind of a support guy, can be played either for the Outwit or the Perplex. Also he has his trait, the enhancement, but also affects other Starfleet characters. Uh, within three squares, kind of similar to what we had before with the uh, starter in uh, the other Star Trek set. Dr. Crusher, also able to be played at 7550. Uh, she's got Stealth and Poison, ESD, Outwit Prob, and then she can also use Support with her trait as well. It's pretty nice. She moves through Hindering Terrain, which is sweet. Uh, we also got L Lieutenant Worf. Looks like he's more of the in-your-face combat, close guy. He has Indom, which is really nice. Also can be played at 75 or 50. Uh, Lieutenant Worf does have a trait called We Need a Security Team on the Bridge. Uh, gives him power uh, within three. So similar to Jordy, but just to maximize your damage uh, potential with uh, Lieutenant Worf. And then we got Lieutenant Commander Data. Um, this is a pretty nice one for 75 or 50. Uh, he's got Sidestep, Quake, Invincible, and Perplex. Also indom Indomitable. Uh, his trait, other friendly characters within three squares have protected Outwit, as long as they have the Starfleet keyword. That's really nice. It's a really cool piece. Um, then we're going to go to Commander William T. Riker. Uh, this is going to be more of the range guy uh, with running shot, ESD, and then for 50, you can have him as a sidestep RCE guy. Uh, oh, that's really cool. So his tray uh, will stop combat values from being negatively modified. That's really nice. And then last but not least, we have Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Um, played at 75 or 50. Um, sidestep, TK, Mastermind, Leadership, some great utility powers. And then he can also use Defend with his uh, Starfleet characters. Now we're going to take a look and crack open this box and see what we get today. Alright, so what's really nice is that now the gravity feed has a number, has all the characters on the sides now so you can get an idea of what exactly you're looking for. I think they've been doing this for a little while now but glad to see that it has it all in numerical. Really looking for the Prime Q or the Chase Crusher, but we're going to start off with an Ensign. He can be played as a 20 point perplex piece, which is really great. Um, now we're going to go on to the rest. Okay. Oh, nice. Ensign Crusher, really great. Great piece that we played at 50 points. Gets the Cosmic Keyword, has a couple of stop clicks. Uh, that piece is going to be pretty awesome for this format, for modern formats. Okay, there we go. There's our first, there's our prime. We got Hugh. Hugh, the uh, common prime. Let's see what else we got. Alright, Borg Landing Party. There's our rare. Okay. Alright, Lieutenant Orph in the red shirt. Before he takes over Tasha Yar's job with the yellow shirt. Let's see what we get next. Okay, original Barkley. Looks so like Klingon Crewman. It's great that they added more Klingons to this set. Uh, first set of Star Trek. Let's see if the uh, Klingons can synergize with the other ones. Now we have the common Captain Picard. Up. We have a Klingon Warrior. Let's see. 
All right, there we got Gowron, Uncommon Klingon. Okay, there's our first super rare. We have Lieutenant Commander Data, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, this is a shifting focus data, which is really cool. They can all be played at 50 points. Uh, this one has an ability that kind of messes with people's support abilities, where if they use Outwit, Perplex, or Prob, you can, uh, you can both roll a 2d6 and see whoever has the higher value. Uh, they won't be able to use those, uh, is it won't be able to use the power? Oh, he gets a deduction token. That's right. And, yeah. Yeah, he has a probability control that can't be uh, re-rolled. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, we have Bator, another uh, Klingon, Klingon member. All right, we got Kimpek, a rare Klingon. What's next? Ensign Ro Lauren. I haven't seen this one before. This one looks like it's uh, she has like the Schrader ability. Okay, next up. Oh, okay, super rare. We got the Board Queen. Very nice. Great for uh, leader of the uh, Borg army. Put her right next to the data since that's fitting. Since they were the uh, main pair in first contact. Let's see, next one we have another red shirt wharf. To be honest, when I first saw first contact as a kid, the scariest part in that movie was where Picard has a dream within a dream. All right, there we go. We got Tasha Yar, the uh, original security chief, and then Wharf takes over her job in the show. Pretty nice. Yeah, this whole sequence where Picard has flashbacks of being with Cutis and the thing pops out of his eye scared me as like a five, six year old. Uh, yeah, all right now we got Nurse Oga o Ogawa. Right. Next one, Borg drone. We're next to the Borg queen. We got regular data. This looks like the uh, common 50.1 that can shift into the uh, other two. Okay, another Klingon warrior. We have Counselor Troy, the empath of the of the Enterprise. Then the last two packs in this box, we are pulling, we got, we got Yellow Shirt Wharf, so when he takes over for Tasha Yar as the Starfleet security guy. Alright, and the final pack from this box is going to be a Dr. Beverly Crusher, just the regular common. Okay. So we're going to crack open the next box right now, see what we get. Uh, fingers still crossed for the Chase Crusher. Uh, it's either Crusher or Riker in this set. Okay, nice. We got the Q Riker. That's really cool. Looking forward to that. Um, really nice uh, Starfleet piece. Also Cosmic as well. Really excited about using that guy. Would like to get the Super Rare Q as well since he's kind of the... Oh, what do you know? <laughs> we got the Super Rare Q. Perfect timing. Yeah, awesome. Kind of a kind of a pog factory among uh, other things. Kind of the trickster role uh, like he is in the show. Okay, all right. Here we go. We got rare lore. I believe yeah. We got lore right now. Next pack. Oops. We got community data. Another commander data. Okay. Instant Crusher again. Still a great piece. Oops. Hey, Jordy. We got Jordy LaForge. Really happy about this piece. 40 points. Can uh, mess around with probability control. Can re roll a die. Sees through hindering. Uh, really excited about using that piece. Okay, next one, Klingon Crewman. Nice. Uh, 
another Klingon warrior. Baytor. Get some this one now. Klingon crewman again. Nice to have a Klingon army. Lieutenant Worf. Try to build these uh, Klingons maybe with the uh, older stuff like Kang and uh, Core. Alright, Borg drone. Very nice. Let's build up that army as well. Hopefully we'll see uh, Star Trek go further with, uh, here we go, we got Thomas Riker. Uh, hopefully we'll see more Star Trek sets in the future, like uh, like these Deep Space Nine. You can see captains like Janeway and Sisko. Okay, this one looks interesting. Okay, it's just a rare Borg. This one, it's Crewman Commander Shelby. Hey, there we go. Mirror Universe Dr. Crusher. Really stoked about this. This is great. Uh, support powers, uh, outwit perplex probability control and support. Sidestep poison. Mirror Universe is basically Mystic's TA. And then the new Mirror Universe guys kind of have something similar to like a sideline active retail sort of trouble thing going on. Uh, really stoked about using this. This is a great find. Haven't seen anyone actually pull this one. Almost like a myth at this point. Alright, uh, next one we've got Uncommon Borg. Uh, another Ensign. Counselor Troy again. Uh, Captain Picard. Dr. Crusher, the good version of Dr. Crusher, and here's the last two, regular common card, and final pack, it is a Nurse Ogawa. Alright, these are our pulls from the second box, very nice to see Dr. Crusher and Q, as well as uh, Riker Q. Uh, thank you very much guys for watching our video and seeing our unboxing. Uh, we are open Monday through Friday from 4 to 9. We have three events throughout the week. We have League on Tuesdays. We have Practice for Bronze Age on Wednesdays. And in addition to other events such as uh, openings such as Star Trek this past week. And then Saturdays as well we have Practice Tournaments for the Bronze Age. Um, in addition to that, we have the Majestics opening happening August 24th to the 25th. Uh, grand prize, $1,000. Uh, please check out our win for more details on the format and prizing. We also have side events on the 24th and the 25th. Uh, in addition to that, we have, uh, we have qualifiers that are happening that will, uh, prizing will be uh, free entry into the Majestics Open, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, be sure to like and follow our YouTube page in addition to our Instagram and Facebook. That will always keep you updated. Thank you very much, guys, and have a great day.